Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. But today, Springbok team prediction for Portugal. It's gone a little bit harder after five players were added to the squad yesterday. And uh, very interesting to see exactly what the decision is going to be um, with regards to selection. Are we going to see basically a brand new 23, which I think we more missed will be. I think the players who have come off the bench and maybe haven't got as much game time um, will probably be in the starting lineup, for example. And I do think we are going to see, for me, at least... Uh, two, maybe even three or more um, caps this weekend or debuts this weekend. So it's going to be very exciting. And looks Portugal side can't be underestimated. It did beat Fiji uh, in the World Cup last year. So, uh, you know, it is going to be a reasonably stern test. Uh, not quite the test we're going to see from, for example, Wales a couple of years ago when we go down in Bloemfontein. So hopefully we'll have a much better result for the Bloemfontein locals. Before we get into the team, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is what I've gone with. And uh, I think one thing that we do know is we're going to see a final debut for Johan Krobelar because, first of all, he's been mentioned by Rassi Rasmus throughout the past, past few weeks. Um, very highly rated, um, you know, known as Krobby's, uh, as Rassi Rasmus keeps mentioning him in, in the sort of the presses and uh, has confirmed that he is the third choice hooker. So I do think we're going to see him play, start this weekend. Um, in the front row, I think Harris Dinekamp will join him in the starting lineup. I think that he's made two very good uh, cameos, for example, off the bench. And now it's an opportunity for him to start. And uh, at tight head, well, we've only got two tight heads in the squad that haven't played yet. In Thomas Toy and Chevin Yakane. Um, I expect to see both those players in the lineup. I don't think we'll see Vincent Koch this weekend or Francois Moherber. Maybe Vincent, probably more than Francois Moherber. Um, but I do think that we'll probably see Thomas Tatoy and, and Trevor Nikana in the mix. The locks are an interesting one. There's an injury to Franco Mostert, so he has, uh, <coughs> he'll not be available for this weekend. Uh, we have not called up a lock, though. I wonder if we might look at Ruben um, Van Heerden, but not. Uh, so for me, Stalin Murat will definitely start. Uh, the question is who partners him. Um, I think Arke Stam potentially gets to start. Um, the fact that we've called up Ruin Fenter and, ben, and, and, have, and have Ben Jason Dixon in the squad, two players who can play at lock if needs be, wonder if they might cover lock there. Or we might see another game from Evan Etzebeth, but it wouldn't surprise me if um, they, they give him an opportunity to, to rest. Uh, I think Malcolm has started to the start. I think Sikhlis will be given a bit of a break. And uh, I think Ulrich Lowe being called to the side means that he potentially might start. I'd like to see Ben Jason Dixon start, to be perfectly honest. I wonder if that might be the case as well, but uh, we'll kind of have to wait and see. And uh, at number eight, I expect it to be Evan Ruiz. The other option could potentially see, you know, an Evan Ruiz. I mean, an Ulrich Lowe at eight, for example. Evan Ruiz off the bench. Pepsi Boot Lazy, obviously, he comes into the mix as well. So interesting to see how they go there. Um, Moritz van Berg, I think, will play this weekend. And I've got a weird, sneaky suspicion that he might start. Um, I've been watching the training. He's been very heavily involved. I think they really do rate him as the sort of five to clerk, um, you know, replaced long term. I think him and Grant Williams and and Jordan and Jaden Henderson, when he makes the return, are going to be our scrum offs, you know, moving forward. Um, if we look at uh, fly half, Mani Bok for me will will we'll slot back in at ten, and we haven't seen him so far. He is the number two fly half, as confirmed by Rassi Rasmus. I think he will start this weekend. Uh, the rest of the back line will be the players. I think you just haven't played. So we're gonna have Michael Bolma Pimpy in at wing. I'm sure. Uh, 14, given the injury to Edel van der Merwe, I think we'll see Kurt Lawrence, Apelene Fatsi at 15. Other options could be a Sash Fami Gomez, Zulu starting at 15, Apelene Fatsi on the wing. Uh, we could see Kuhn Horn starting uh, on the wing or at 15, for example. The centers, I think, for me, are pretty easy to protect. I think mean, it's going to be Andre Estes and, and uh, Le Cunha. Um, and then off the bench, I think Andrew Hugo Fenter has been called back into the squad. We'll get a debut off the bench. Uh, Instuka Tlunu also called into the squad. It was also on media duty on a Monday. Usually an indication that he's going to be involved. Um, and then Trevor Nukani or Thomas Satori, if it doesn't start, will likely be on the bench. I've got Ben J. Sticks on the bench. He might start, in which case you've got Albert Lowe on the bench. And you know Ben J. Sticks and does cover uh, lock if he needs to. Pep's boot lazy, I think, also potentially make his debut this weekend. Been in and around that squad for a while now. Um, hadn't got an opportunity. Of course, Reich has not played yet, so I can't expect to see him. I wouldn't be massively surprised if we see Grant Williams, but, um, you know, we've got so many scrum offs in the side, uh, in the squad, that I think, you know, they all want to try and, and give people um, a, a chance. Um, and then after that, uh, if he doesn't start, that's fine, he will definitely be on the bench, and I'd really like to see an opportunity for Quan Horn, especially in the back of the building, um, you know, HIA. I think we need to start testing our 15's death. Um, I thought that's fine, he will showed you know, aspects of, 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 of how good he can be, as well as a bit, a bit nervy at times. So not playing a lot at 15, Kieran Horn, uh, Apelita Fassi, far more experienced in that position. So I think we'll look to try and test that depth as well. In terms of captaincy, the Kanye Arm is the obvious candidate. If you look at that side, if they decide to go with an Evan Etzebeth, for example, and keep him in, in the side, then I think that he potentially um, would obviously probably take the captaincy. 
But uh, what do you think? What change would you make? And uh, who would you like to see this weekend? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.